Microsoft has started selling a gold version of its Lumia 930 and Lumia 830 smartphones. We're going to take a quick look at the 930 and show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Deanna Rubino here with Windows Central, and yes, I got a Lumia 930 here, the special black gold edition, which is now available in China, Hong Kong. I should be going to India, Middle East, Africa, and some European countries as well throughout the month of January and into February. It comes in two versions for the 930 and 830. You got the black one and the white. Obviously, I have the black one here. The white one looks interesting only because it looks to use a glossy back. Now, I have the Verizon Lumia icon, which is the same device here. As you can see, it's got the silver and white too, but this is a matte uh, backing on it. So I'll be kind of curious to see how good the white one looks if it is uh, truly glossy. But let's take a look here at the black one. There's really no difference here, right, in this phone. It is just a Lumia 930 with a gold treatment on the outside. Now, it isn't, of course, real gold. Uh, because of that, the price, you can pick this up probably about $430 for US uh, if you were to pick it up on eBay or some various retailers. Uh, so it's still very, you know, affordable, at least for a flagship phone. It's actually pretty decent. There was a company in Vietnam selling a true gold Lumia 930. So this was actually real 24 karat gold. That is not the case here, but still. Now I kind of bought this phone almost as a joke. I'm not really into the whole blinged out phone uh, phenomenon that happens, but uh, truth be told, I actually think this looks really elegant and I think it looks great. It's a very, very svelte looking device. Um, you got the gold lettering here in the back, and it's just, it's subtle, but it just looks sharp. Now, there is nothing unique about this phone. It is a straight up 930. There is no cool software stuff on it. There's not even a cool gold accent color. There is top, uh, which is available on all devices, so you can kind of get it to match anyway. Uh, but it is just a standard 930. Now, if you were to buy this in the U.S., it does not have LTE speed, so keep that in mind. It's just like the international version. You can throw an AT&T SIM in there, uh, even T-Mobile, and you can get HSPA Plus speed in select markets, so it's basically a high-end 3G. It's not too bad, I actually use it pretty regularly. If you're around Wi-Fi a lot of times, not a big deal at all. Now you do get the, of course, the 20 megapixel pure view camera, two gigs of RAM, 2.2 gigahertz quad-core processor, 32 gigs of storage, and of course that beautiful 1080p display with AMOLED. Of course, there is no um, glance screen on this, that's just a limitation of 930, probably the only limitation besides micro SD. Uh, if you're curious, the software it ships with is 14.1 seven which is actually an old version of Windows Phone 8.1 that came out I think around October uh, and you can though upgrade it to 226 which is the late 14226 I should say if you're really uh, pedantic about it but uh, that is actually the latest version and it does include true Lumia denim which means it does have the really fast camera on here so that launches very quickly and you get all the cool features like the rich capture and stuff so if you do pick up this phone make sure you check for an update it'll do that process it'll take about 15 20 minutes and you'll get the latest version with True Lumia Denim, so they'll have to update the apps too. But uh, overall, you know, very cool phone. I was actually surprised. I uh, actually like it a lot. I think I'll probably end up using it. But uh, there you go. Head to Windows Central, and I'll put up some high-resolution photos so you can get a better look out of it. But uh, you tell us what you think. Uh, is it cheesy, or do you actually like the design of it? But there you go. Take care, everybody.